This month on Before the Badge, we're introducing you to a sergeant who grew up in Warsaw, Indiana, but his family's Latin culture, heritage and values were all brought here to the Hoosier State. That heritage of being hardworking, uh, earning what you want, um, is really a is really a big deal uh, in our family. My parents owned a restaurant, and so that was one of our things. Uh, my family really uh, came together, and we worked at the restaurant. We made food. We gave you know service to others. Um, yeah, those are some of the biggest things. I just remember the the Mexican food, the music. But I was taught in an early, early age that our culture, our heritage is very important. For Jose Navarro, he remembers a childhood filled with family, love, and service to others. It was always just one of those things. My parents were always willing to help somebody. At a young age, his family introduced him to wrestling. His afternoons consisted of trainings and practices. It was just something about the sport. And um, I really, really wasn't good when I first started. Um, I lost a lot, probably cried a lot. I actually, I remember uh, some of my uh, teammates laughing because of how bad I was. So I got mad and I was like, I was like, man, I, I'm going to get better at this. And he certainly did get better. After high school, he went on to wrestle at junior college and then transferred to U Indy. It's one of those things that it's it's so hard. It, it, it mentally, physically, um, you you got to be all in on it. So my first year at U Indy, it was it was tough. Uh, and then my second year uh, there uh, is when I started to kind of figure things started clicking again. I had some great wrestling partners and uh, became a two-time All-American to him by the time I left and graduated with a degree in criminal justice. After graduation, he applied to IMPD, went through the academy and was assigned to Southeast District. I, I love Southeast District. They have amazing commanders out of there. Um, it's been, I still call it home. From there, Sergeant Navarro went on to become a narcotics detective. He spent some time working with the Indiana Crime Gun Task Force before ending up at IMPD's Training Academy, where he currently teaches to prepare the future officers of the IMPD. I got to see really a different side of what the, what the academy does. Um, I went through it, right? Um, and then, but you don't know the processes that you have to go through uh, to have a successful class and to get the class going. He says the skills and training he learned while on the mat are still ones he uses today. You can lose in a, in a match, but then you got to turn around and come back and win again to try to, to, try to win. And I kind of look at it like with, with runs, like you take your run, you know, it might be a very emotional scene, but you got to be able to control that and then move on to the next one because that person is going to need this need service. Those are lessons I learned in wrestling. So, and I've really applied it a lot to working here at IMPD. Wrestling is still a major part of Sergeant Navarro's life. He currently is a coach for his son's wrestling team and also volunteers with a youth wrestling group in his spare time.